All right, today I want to uh, discuss an overwintering technique of immatures, uh, what I call the pillow technique. It's basically folding up uh, caterpillars uh, in facial tissue and then placing them in a squat tub and then either placing them outside or in the fridge. Basically what I do, what you see here is what we call mature um, last in star of the western tail blue Everest amintula. There are um, some genera of butterflies where the fifth and star caterpillar will feed until it has done feeding and then instead of pupating it will go directly into diapause and, and over winter as, as we say as a mature last in So what I do is uh, place some of these caterpillars in the middle of, of some toilet tissue, fold it over on one side, fold it over on the other, turn 90 degrees, fold it up, fold it up, and this little unit I call it a pillow for lack of a better term. Place in a squat tub. Place the lid on with full data. Uh, there's been some holes uh, punctured in the lid. And simply take this and put it either in the fridge or outside, uh, trying to misspray it and make sure that the caterpillars, um, like I say, it conforms to the genus Everest, Everest amentula. Also, some skippers will do this of the genus Arenus, Amlocertes, Theribes, and uh, no doubt several others. But anyway, I just put this in the fridge and let it winter for uh, between 120 and 150 days, keeping moist so that the caterpillars don't desiccate, and then bring them out. Thanks. Then when I uh, bring these tubs out uh, next spring or after a cold uh, season of 120 to 150 days, um, I misspray the pillows again, and once the larvae senses that it is spring, um, they will wait a couple of weeks and then form a chrysalis, and then you can put them in an emergency container and emerge them from there. Uh, one thing you need to remember is before you uh, put your larvae through a cold process, um, you want, may want to check them from time to time, about every week or so before you put them through the cold, just to make sure they haven't pupated. Uh, this is the same western tail blue that I had set up in a pillow, and this particular larva had decided to pupate immediately. Uh, once uh, these butterflies that overwinter as mature larvae decide to pupate the same year, they are committed to emerge, so I will cut this out. Um, uh, put it inside an emergency container and allow it to emerge. So you want to check all your pillows before you actually put them in the cold to make sure none of them have decided to pupate. Arenus, skippers, dusky wings also will do that. When you raise them in the lab, they go into diapause, and then all of a sudden they can decide to pupate. And once they pupate, they're committed. You're not going to want to overwinter them as a pupa. They're committed to emerge this year. Thanks.